Okay, let's take a look at 7.3, which is interesting because we're taking the derivative of a linear function. So let's take a look. It says, if g is a linear function with g of 1 equal to 5 and g prime of 3 equal to 2, determine the equation of g in the form y equals, etc. Okay, so what do these two pieces of information mean? Well, this one is basically saying that where x equals 1, y equals 5. Okay, so that's one point that we have on the graph of G. This next bit, I know if you look at it and you think the first derivative of a, of a linear function doesn't really exist. It's like it's a point. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. But also remember, guys, the first derivative, first derivative will always give you an indication of the gradient. So this isn't indicating any point or anything fancy. It's just saying that the gradient is 2. They're testing your understanding that the moment you see g prime of something, you're going to get the gradient. Okay, so now it's easy peasy. y is equal to mx plus c. So we substitute in our point. 5 is equal to, and also we substitute in the gradient. So 5 is equal to 2 times 1 plus c. So 5 is equal to 2 plus c, and therefore c is equal to 3. So the equation of this linear function is y is equal to 2x plus 3. Simple, simple stuff. Just remember, guys, when you're drilling your calculus, very, very important that the first derivative will always have an indication of the gradient. Okay, and that is 7.3.